Got a question for you YouTubers. Maybe someone might be able to explain this a little bit more. Back in the day in my old house in the North Country where it was normal, I had a oil heat, oil burning uh, boiler and it just used the hot water heater as a storage tank. We never hooked up the electrical. We just had to hook up like a circulator in it so um, it would move the water around because it would mix hot with cold and whatever the hell but this is a little bit weird I'm off topic now alright we have what, what the wood? this is the hot side of the tank going into the house most likely this is the water that's coming in alright pressure relief valve we have one in the center which is pretty common they all have one in the center but why the hell did these condo people put a T coming off over here and a secondary pressure relief valve all these places are like that I talked to a couple of plumbers and they say, no, nah, you don't need that because you have this one. And this is a some, like higher rated one, but I don't know. But then they were telling me too that um, some of the houses that had this have some deal. It's like the water heater mixing in with the, uh, the air handler, but it's not the case with this place. So why the hell do they do that? And do you really need it or is this useless? I said this valve is pricey. There's some more high quality valves in, in this one. But what's the deal? Anyone know? Can you explain it? Because I really don't know. And check out this cool PVC plastic construction that's everywhere. I like this. No, I don't. Copper pipe. Awesome.